Once you've elected to replace just the fuel pump in your assembly, we're going to walk through the proper procedure in doing that. Sending unit assembly, we have a fuel strainer, the fuel pump, connecting hose, the pressure fitting, the return line, and the electrical connection. First, we remove the hose clamp. Now we will take a knife and cut the hose from the hanger assembly. This will allow us to remove the pump. Remove the electrical connections. There are two different size retaining nuts. Now we will remove the new Airtex fuel pump from the box. We have a section of fuel line. We have a lower isolator retainer, two hose clamps, a O-ring. We have the nuts and washers to make the electrical connections and the fuel pump. Install a new strainer on the bottom of the pump. Install a retaining clip. You may take a small socket and push this retainer into place. Install the fuel line. We install our hose clamp onto the fuel pump, noting that we stay away from the electrical connections. Take our other hose clamp and slide up onto the hanger assembly. Take our fuel pump isolator and install on the bottom of the fuel pump, holding it in place while we slide the hose onto the hanger assembly. And we will have to position our pump, push the pump securely down onto the bottom of the hanger assembly. Take our top hose clamp and install it onto the fuel line. Install our electrical connector. Now that we've installed the new Airtex fuel pump into the hanger assembly, we're ready to reinstall the hanger assembly into the fuel tank.